press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. Hello friends, welcome to Phoenix Educare. So today we will see why there are fewer natural ports on the eastern coast of India than on the western coast. See, you must be knowing India is having very vast coastline. It is around, uh, it is more than 7,500 kilometers uh, of coastline. So in the western coast of India, there are many natural ports, naturally made ports. And in the eastern coast, there are very few natural ports. There are many artificial ports. So we will see what is the reason for that. Why Western Coast has Western Coast is having more natural ports and why Eastern Coast is having very less natural ports. So first let us see which are the different which are the important ports in India. See if you see in the Western Coast of India. So there are many ports like uh, Kandla port in Gujarat or Mumbai. It is a natural port. Then uh, there is one port near Mumbai that is JNPT Jawaharlal Nehru Port Trust. It is near Mumbai. Then we are having Goa. Goa, uh, there is a post, uh, there is a port. Also, we are having port in Mangalore, in Cochin. If you see in the eastern coast of India, then we are having Haldia port. It is riverine port. Haldia port is a riverine port. The river sea ko meet hota hai. Wahan river se jo entry milta hai port uh, ship ko. To ye andar chale jate. Then Kolkata. Then, then Paradweep, Vishakapatnam, Chennai, Tuttikorin. Uh, these are all important ports of India. These are the major ports of India. So now, see if you see this photograph, this is the photograph of land surface below the sea. So this is the coast. So after the coast, we are having continental shelf. And after that, we are having continental slope, then continental rise and then plain. So this is the plain land. See, if you see this, this is the land surface or this is the surface, coastal surface near the sea and uh, near the sea. So after that, the, the depth of the sea is not decreasing uh, greatly. So it is decreasing, decreasing gently. Slowly, slowly depth increase hote jata hai. So jitna jada deeper hoga, utna hi ships ke liye achha hoga. Jo bade bade ships hai, jo cargo ships hai, jis mein, uh, jis mein bade bade, jis, bade bade jo ships aate hai. Jo coast pe kabhi aayenge, jabhi yaha jada water available hoga. So jitna deeper so if you see in the western coast of India, India ka jo western coast hai, wahan both bade bade rivers nahi hai. So as the rivers are less, so rivers are not depositing sands there, uh, sand there. So as the deposition is less, yahan jo deposition kam hai, to yahan depth jada hoga. So depth jada hoga to bade bade seas, uh, bade bade seas coast tak aap aayenge. Lekin eastern coast ki baat karenge. So if you see in the eastern coast of India, so there are many rivers like Ganga, Godavari, Krishna, Kaveri, Mahanadi. These rivers are very long flowing rivers. So these rivers are bringing sediments along with them. So these sediments can deposit hoga river ke mouth pe. Jaha river sea ko meet karta hai, wahan sediments deposit hoga. So because of this, lot of sand sediments are deposited near here. So because of this, continental crust is Emerging, emerge मतलब यहाँ नया land develop हो रहा है, because क्योंकि यहाँ deposition ज़्यादा हो रहा है। So if you talk about the eastern coast of India, so in the eastern coast of India, the height of the continental shelf is increasing because there is lot of deposition. Every year the river is bring, bringing deposition. So जे lakhs or millions of years हुआ है, तो उसमें बहुत सारा deposition हुआ है। So because of this, the height of the shelf or the continental shelf is emerging shelf because lot of deposition is there. अगर इमेजिन करो कि यहां पूरा सेडिमेंट डिपॉजिट होगा सेडिमेंट डिपॉजिट होगा तो क्या होगा जो डेप्थ है वो डेप्थ कम हो जाएगा डेप्थ कम हो जाएगा तो क्या होगा वाटर भी कम होगा और यहां शिप्स नहीं आ पाएगा ये बड़े-बड़े जो शिप्स होते हैं जो पोर्ट में आते हैं उनको पानी बहुत ज्यादा लगता है बिकॉज़ दिस शिप्स आर वेरी वेरी बिग शिप सो एज द वाटर लेवल इज वेरी लेस सो व्हाट विल हैपन मेनी शिप्स विल नॉट कम नियर द सी सो बिकॉज़ ऑफ दिस there are very few natural harbors in the eastern coast of India because eastern coast is the emerging coast. यहाँ coast emerge होते जा रहा है क्योंकि यहाँ नया नया deposition होते जा रहा है. But in the case of western coast, there are very few deposition because there are very few rivers. In the eastern coast, these rivers are making delta and in the western coast, rivers are not making delta. There are very few rivers. So because of this, the coast is not emerging. It is a submerged coast. ये submerged coast है. While in the eastern side, we are having emerging coast. So this is the difference between the continental shelf in the eastern coast of India and western coast of India. Western coast of India is an example of submerged coastal plain. So western coast of India जो है, वो submerged coastal plain है. जो वहाँ का जो थोड़ा coastal plain जो हमें दिखता है, उसका बहुत सारा part sea के अंदर submerged है. Western coast का जो coastal part दिखता है, वैसा ही आगे जो continuation है, continental shelf है, वो continental shelf sea के अंदर submerged है. So it is a submerged coastal plain. Because of this submergence. 
it is a narrow belt and provides natural condition of development of ports and harbors so because of this submergement submerg submergence aur wahan river jo hai wo zyada deposition nahi karta hai so many ships can come to the coast example kandla port in gujarat uh, mumbai mangalore are the some of the important natural ports on the western coast of india so these are the some important natural ports on the western coast of india if you see in the eastern coast as compared to the western coastal plain the eastern coastal plain is broader and is an example of emergent coast wahan coast emerge ho raha hai naya coast ban raha hai kaise ban raha hai sand sediment jab it deposit karta hai river naye deposition ke wajah se naya land form ho raha hai naya land emerge ho raha hai so uh, it is an example of emergent coast new land is emerging due to deposition made by the rivers there are there are well developed deltas here formed by the west uh, formed by the rivers flowing eastward in the bay of bengal so we are having many rivers like godavari mahanadi krishna kaveri uh, ganga so these are the rivers that are depositing lot of sediments near the mouth of the river so jyada deposition hota hai to wahan jyada jyada land emerge hota hai naya naya land ban raha hai so ship coast tak nahi aa payega kyunki beech mein usko sand milega sand milega to ship andar deep sea tak nahi aa sorry coast tak nahi aa payega because of its emergent nature it has less less number of ports and harbors so because of the emergent nature wahan coast emerge ho raha hai so it is having less number of natural ports uh, natural ports and harbor see the continental shelf extends up to 500 km into the sea so ye jo continental shelf hai it is extending up to 500 km agar ya ya photo mein dekh rahe ho to ye sediments hai ye sediment jitna deposit hote jayega utna ye continental jo continent ka jo shelf aur jo water hai uska depth kam hoga डेप्थ कम होगा तो क्या होगा वहाँ शिप शिप कोस्ट तक नहीं आ पाएगा लैंड तक नहीं आ पाएगा जितना सेटिमेंट कम होगा उतने बड़े बड़े शिप को ज़्यादा पानी मिलेगा बड़े बड़े शिप होते हैं तो उसको ज़्यादा पानी लगता है तो जितना डिपोजिशन कम होगा उतना शिप लैंड तक आ पाएगा सो बिकॉज ऑफ दिस इन द वेस्टर्न कोस्ट एज द डिपोजिशन इज लेस एज द सेटिमेंट्स आर लेस बिकॉज वेस्टर्न फ्लोइंग रिवर्स आर नॉट ब्रिंगिंग दैट मच सेटिमेंट्स दिस आर वेरी शॉर्ट फ्लोइंग रिवर्स तो वहाँ सी और का डेप ज़्यादा है लैंड के कोस्ट के पास सी का डेप ज़्यादा है तो वहाँ शिप्स कोस्ट तक आ सकता है नेचुरल पोर्ट्स है इन द ईस्टर्न कोस्ट देर आर वेरी फ्यू नेचुरल हार्बर सो हमें क्या करना पड़ता है यहाँ का जो सेडिमेंट्स है बार बार उसे निकालना पड़ता है सो so, वहाँ शिप आ सकता है सो दिस आर मैन मेड पोर्ट्स तो कॉन्टिनेंटल सेल्फ एक्सटेंड अप टू फाइव हंड्रेड किलोमीटर्स इन टू द सी विच मेक्स इट्स डिफिकल्ट फॉर द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ पोर्ट्स एंड हार्बर्स दिस इज इन द ईस्टर्न साइड so there are less number of natural ports on the eastern coast of india so i hope you have understood why there are very few natural ports on the eastern coast of india and why there are more natural ports on the western coast of india so if you have understood share the video with your friends and subscribe to the channel also tell your friends to subscribe to the channel and thank you for watching